Okay, welcome to Huntsville, Ontario in the Muskokas. Just beautiful country. Today I want to talk about infinity. Are all infinities the same? No, it turns out that some are countable, such as the natural numbers, the integers, and the fractions, which are called the rational numbers. And others are uncountable, such as the real numbers. In fact, even between 0 and 1, the real numbers are uncountable. For example, if you take the natural numbers, the number of natural numbers, and subtract it from the number of real numbers, you get an infinite number of numbers. Whereas if you reverse that, you get a negative infinite number. If you divide the number of real numbers by the number of natural numbers, you get an infinite number. But if you divide the natural numbers by the number of real numbers, you get zero, because there's so many more real numbers. So let's say that A is an element of the real numbers. Then I can do some calculations. If I do plus or minus infinity plus A, I still get plus or minus infinity. If I do a times infinity, I get plus or minus infinity, depending on the sign of A. If I do plus or minus infinity, plus or minus another infinity, I still get plus or minus infinity, where the plus signs all go together. If I multiply plus or minus infinity times another infinity, sorry, times, I get plus or minus infinity. Now what about dividing infinity by a real number? That will give me plus or minus infinity de depending on whether A is positive or negative. And if, if I divide A by plus or minus infinity, I'll simply get zero. Now let's look at the more complicated cases. Those ones are pretty straightforward. If I take infinity minus infinity, depending on the type of infinity, believe it or not, that could actually give me infinity, a real number, or negative infinity, where that real number could even be zero. And if I <clears throat> take plus or minus infinity and divide it by plus or minus infinity, I can also get either infinity some real number or negative infinity. It all depends on what type of infinity it is. So let's see here. Um, let's just finish off by talking about what happens if you have x squared over 2 to the x and 2 to the x over x squared. And let's say that x becomes really big, then I get infinity for the numerator, but the denominator is an even bigger infinity, so I get 0. Over here, I get a really big infinity over a smaller infinity, and that would give me infinity, because 2 to the x gets bigger faster than x squared does. Hopefully that will give you a pretty good idea of what can happen with infinities. Talk to you later. Thanks a lot.